Hi, my name is Jade Fang. I'm an acupuncturist. I've been an acupuncturist for about 12 years. I'm a second generation acupuncturist, so my parents are both acupuncturists. I currently uh, operate a community acupuncture clinic in Winona, Minnesota. And today we're going to talk about another secret of pain relief from an acupuncturist. We're going to talk about cupping. So today's like a general introduction to cupping, and I'll, I'll explain cupping for wrist pain. So I uh, usually have a cupping, a cupping gun, so it looks like this. So cupping, uh, uh, during the Olympics, Michael Phelps popularized cupping because when he was swimming, he had these circles on his arms. And that's pretty much cupping. A lot of the people who, who do train a lot, uh, a lot of athletes do this to themselves because it's really great for before and after competitions. So here's the suction gun. So you just pump it to create suction. And here's the cup. So I'm going to use a small cup because I'm going to demonstrate on my hand. So just to teach you how to use it and then do it for wrist pain. So what you do is you put the cup suction gun together like this, pretty easy. And then you take a you take a surface. You, you should be relaxed. If you're really tight and tense, it's not going to work because it's it's bringing circulation to your muscles. So it's kind of it's going to create suction and pull it up. So whoop, got this. Here you go. So you can just put it to so your and then. Lightly relax your hand and pump. One, two. So you see, there's a slightly raised area that's red. It looks like it hurts, but it doesn't. If you have hand pain, this feels really nice. So it's it's like a deep muscle massage. So you can just leave it like that, like this, and like that. So to release, it's pretty easy. So you either just pull on the very top boop, and release it, or you can go from the sides and then just release it from the side, depending on if you're doing it somewhere where it's hard to grab the top. Okay, once again, take the cupping gun and the cup, you put it together like this, you relax the area. If it's really tight, I can't do it. Then I can drop it. And then now you put it on the area. One, two. You can feel how tight you want it to. You can start off lighter, and then when you want a deeper sensation, when you want to go to a deeper area, you can do more pumps. But I wouldn't recommend over like three or four unless it's like on your back or something. And then to pull it off, you just go boom. So how long do you leave it on for? So you can leave the cups on for, I would start from one to two minutes, and then, you know, every other day, and I would up to 10 minutes. I wouldn't leave it on for any over that because you're going to get blisters and I wouldn't exert too much pressure. So obviously there's a few precautions. This is, you know, very not invasive. It's like doing a deep massage on yourself, which is pretty cool. Um, I get cupping a lot, but um, I wouldn't do it if you have an open wound, obviously don't do cupping because it's suction. You're going to spew blood a little bit, but still, I don't think you want to see blood spewing. So the other thing is, uh, at home, you know, if you're an acupuncturist, I can do all these different points. But at home, I would stick with musculature areas. So don't do it over bones. So I wouldn't do it over your spine. I would do it along the sides of your spine. So that's cupping. And now, um, and to clean the cups and maintain them. So you have a cupping set. You put it in a box. But I would wipe it down with an alcohol swab. And every once in a while, like, soak it in disinfectant. You know, if it's just you and your cupping set, you know, wipe it down, soak it in disinfect. And if you're, you know, giving other people cupping, you're like, this works great. Let me cup my family member over Thanksgiving. You should really wipe it down. So um, now I'm going to talk about cupping for wrist pain. So for wrist pain, for like carpal tunnel wrist pain, tingling in the fingers, I would go, I would, this is the perfect size. And then I would just go on my wrist, relax my hand and see how that brings it up. So for wrist pain, I would go all along this line. So I would go up. And you could probably do like the back of your shoulder or your neck too. And you probably need to have somebody help you do that because cupping your own back of your shoulder and neck is not easy. But so the back of your shoulder area would be right here. And then the neck would be like into here. This is all for carpal tunnel wrist pain, same side. So. That's the secrets of cupping from an acupuncturist.